All right, hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is Tyler Hespeler. I'm a local real estate agent in Mystic, Connecticut. I wanna talk about the Connecticut real estate market really quickly. And one of the biggest things that we've seen recently, and this is making headlines everywhere from the New York Post, the um, Connecticut Magazine, uh, CNBC and the Connecticut Insider, and there's headlines everywhere just kind of talking about how there's this big influx of people from New York City coming to Connecticut and just pretty much snatching up houses. It's not really a surprise. I don't think anybody really saw this coming, but it's also not a huge surprise when you think about it. I mean, you have this whole new change to the workforce potentially coming where everyone's working from home. They're realizing right now that they actually can work from home and you know they're probably gonna wanna have a house that they wanna stay in 24 seven and that maybe has a yard. And if they only have to commute to work to New York once, twice, zero times a week, why not spread out a little bit further? Maybe that, that rural suburban area becomes a little more attractive. And you know that's kind of the trend we're seeing right now. So we'll take a look really quickly at one of these articles. So this is from the Hartford Current. And this the headline right here is Connecticut becomes a top destination for people moving out of New York following the coronavirus outbreak. Okay, this is written May 25th, 2020. And this is, and, and, you know, a lot of these articles are pretty consistent. They just talk about the same thing. People are moving from New York to other states and they're buying houses. You know, just a couple of statistics that we found in this article. Um, so one that jumps out at me is March 15th, between March 15th and April 28th of this year, uh, this moving company, Flat Rate Moving, saw a 74% jump from people moving from New York to Connecticut as compared to those dates last year. Now we have this other statistic, at least 2,962 new mail forwarding addresses have been requested for people forwarding their mail from New York to Connecticut. And that doesn't necessarily mean buyers, that means people who are moving out of that area right now, either temporarily or permanently, just to get out of the city and to work from home. You know, being a landlord, I can attest to this. I've actually had a tenant from New York, originally was gonna stay just one month and here we are it's going to be may april may june so all of june um we're going to be looking at a three-month rental it uh and this is a pattern that we're seeing pretty frequently in a lot of other places now it makes sense people are fleeing the city and they just want to be able to have a place they can work from home i think what we might see is kind of like a ripple effect i think you'll see you're going to start out seeing a lot of people kind of consuming the the fairfield county the western side of connecticut and then as those houses get snatched up, you might see that kind of widen. You might see this trend take place and work its way east along the whole shoreline of Connecticut, maybe Old Saybrook, Mystic. And we'll see how those how those numbers change. I mean, it's, it's interesting. It's something that, like I said, didn't really see it coming, but it makes really total sense, right? All right, so we'll switch gears real quick and we'll pull up this chart. This is on showingtime.com and Showing Time is actually an app that real estate agents use. It's an app where you can request to see houses, right? So if I have a client who wants to see a house, I go to Showing Time, put in a request and they get notified. So they have their own section on their website. You go to showingtime.com and they have their own section, Impact of COVID-19 on Real Estate Showings in North America. So we'll click on this and there's a graph right here and it's gonna show Early to mid-March, going into mid-April, we had this big drop in sales. And that's really when this kind of this big scare came out. People, you know, businesses were shutting down. There was a lot more fear, a lot more uncertainty back then. And you know, people just didn't want, especially if you had an occupied homeowner who lived in that house, they wouldn't want people to go in their house and, and see it, right? They don't know, you know, who these, where these people have been. And there was a lot of uncertainty, right? So a lot of these houses were just not being shown. And you can tell this drastic drop um, really took a couple of months to recover, but switch this to Connecticut and pretty similar, right? We have the same drop right around mid to early March, big drop off. And, you know, now we're in the positive, right? And this, this blue line is compared to last year and the orange line is this year, right? So, you know, kind of interesting. It's, I think it's a great sign. I think, you know, especially right now you have all these regulations starting to relax. The governor came out with you know the reopening plan june 1st restaurants and june 20th are going to really relax this even more hopefully depending on these results now what i've seen recently and this is kind of specifically the mystic market is you know the, the last listing i put out it was literally on the market for like two days and it was you know multiple offers lots of showings and i've kind of seen that throughout the other showings i've been um doing there's been a lot of activity you know, I'm, I'm almost there with my client, like the first day this thing's available, 
there's people before us, there's people after us, and you know, homeowners are saying, yeah, we we're, we're taking all offers like in a couple of days. So you know, these things they're really not, and, and this is specifically that three to four bedroom, two bathroom, you know, really nice house in a nice area. It's a it's a it's a desirable house for a lot of people. And right now, given the fact that you have that, and then just such low inventory, these houses are going pretty quick. So I think that definitely you know factors into this drop in the days on market. Um, so yeah, that re really kind of wraps up this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it if you've made it this far. I know this is kind of a long video. But guys, one of my goals is to share my knowledge with as much people as I can. So if you can like this, comment, subscribe, or you know pass this along, that would be awesome. I appreciate you guys watching this, and um, I will see you next time. All right, thanks.